Steve Bruce said we really went over and above what we should have done to get Joe Willock. He was there on loan from Arsenal last season. He really wanted him to Steve Bruce. He got him, but apparently he shouldn't have spent $35 million, but he did. He is in. Four players on the right, including uh, club legend, club legend Andy Carroll, uh, went out on a free. He's gone to Reading. So that's the ins and outs at Newcastle United. Robbie Earl, are they weaker today than they were last season? Um, weaker... No, not necessarily weak. I suppose Joe Willock in is good business. But he was there last season. He was there, um, but he's goals and he's there player now, which I think is important. Um, Callum Wilson fit, sent Maximum in the team, Willock. Then you took the Almirons and players like that. It could be reasonably exciting the back. It's just you feel with, short, with um, Steve Bruce that the balance doesn't seem right, that he, he's scared to let them go. And because he's scared to let them go, they don't get results, the fans are getting on his back, and it's like an ever-going circle that we, we, we're back in again. There's always this shadow over Newcastle United Football Club. And I'm afraid either until the ownership changes or possibly Steve Bruce changes his style, we're going to get that way. It was interesting I heard Callum Wilson say that Graham Jones has been a good adjacent addition as his assistant, he's, bought a, he's updated the tactics and he brought something fresh to the group. Just wonder if he might have a bigger role to play going forward. Well, Graham Jones has today stepped down from his assistant's role to mm. Gareth Southgate in the mm. England setup in order to concentrate on being Steve mm. Bruce's assistant. It must be frustrating, Robbie, that they buy the likes of St Maximin, Joe Willock, Miguel Almiron, Callum Wilson, and yet Steve Bruce, as Robbie said, doesn't let them go. He, well, he, 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 he does... And last season, when he did, when they were all fit again, they looked great, and the fans were. But he doesn't always. Loving. But he doesn't always do it. And if there's a difficult opponent, or if he has a couple of bad results, he goes back to the norm, which is uber conservative and super safe, and people behind the ball. They've got enough time. Kind of same thoughts as Robbie on this. It's not a lot. Newcastle United don't spend much money. Joe Willock's a really good signing. Scored important goals last year. Let them, let them play a little bit. I'm pretty sure I'm right in saying that they're all fit right now. Mm -hmm. That's There's some good talent there, and it's up to the manager to play this squad to its best kind of potential, and that is to be expansive and play. And that's what the Newcastle United fans ever want, just to have a go and be expansive and trust your attacking players more. And it's early season. He can do that. He can absolutely back do in it. The, back in the stadium, it makes it even more important, doesn't right. it? When the fans aren't in, you can get away with it a little yeah. bit. When the fans are back now, they won't put up with it. And, and that's right. And if things don't go well, mm. you know, there's no wiggle room for him and it's gonna get, it could get ugly again for him, which I think is probably how it's going to go. And that's the shadow, as you say, that mm. is always cast mm. over St James's Park, certainly while Steve Bruce is in charge and while Mike Ashley is the owner. Hi there, I'm Rebecca Lowe, studio host for NBC's coverage of the Premier League. Don't forget to hit subscribe to watch highlights all season long and be sure to tune in for Premier League mornings every weekend at 7am Eastern. And for even more content, head over to Peacock where we've got live games, original series and a dedicated round-the-clock Premier League channel featuring studio shows, classic matches and much more.